it's a new year for Hindu Balinese people. To pay respect, for 24 hours, everything and everyone shuts down. The airport is closed and Wi-Fi is disabled across the island, giving the entire island a break from human activity and centering itself back into nature, or at least for the most part. A few days before the silence is a period known as Malasti. People from villages across the island will gather on the beach with their heirlooms and spiritual items from their local temples. They bring them to be blessed and purified in the holy water known as Tirta Amerta, the water of life. several things, including clean their homes to cast away the bad spirits and demons. All of the rituals done throughout this time are meant to cleanse the world from the filth of sin and bad karma. The main representation of bad karma is called an Ogo Ogo. People spend months before Nippi building and making the Ogo Ogos. Ogo Ogos are represented as demons holding the worst choices that we as humans have made. On the eve of Nippi, also known as a silent day, the Grupuk parade takes place. Because everything will be closed on Nippi and you're not allowed to leave your home, people who do not partake in the fasting of the holiday flock to the grocery stores to get food and supplies. When the sky turns to darkness, the Ogo Ogos are brought out into the streets to be paraded through the villages. Under the shadows of these statues, dances and loud music are performed to ward off evil spirits. It is believed that during the Gurpuk parade, demons may even embody the Ogo Ogos, and so, when the parade is over, these statues that took months to build are burned. The Ogo Ogos represent a purification of evil, burning with all the evil inside. Some say that these statues in this time may represent the influence of Western society on Balinese culture and lifestyle. many assumptions and ideas about Nippi. After the loudest of drumming in a very long night, at 6 a.m., most of the island stands still. <laughs> 